Welcome back to this Roblox Studio tutorial and in this video we are going to be exploring OOP in Roblox Lua. So first thing I'm going to create a script in server script service and delete the skeleton code. Okay so now I'm going to explain what OOP is. OOP first stands for Object Oriented Programming. In this type of programming there are classes, and in fact, Roblox actually uses OOP, such as these all have a class name right here, like part. So basically, OOP contains classes and objects that follow that class. And you may be wondering, what are classes and objects? Classes are... I would say maybe a a thing. So like let's just say a species when we, we come to animals. Each species is like its own class. So classes are like species of animals and plants. And you may be wondering what objects are as well. Objects are the organisms like for animals and plants. They are of that species but they're an actual object so objects are the organisms that are of a certain species or in this case class so let's get started here i'm going to define local person let's just say we want to create a class called person so i don't think you need local here but i'll just have it here anyway so you just set it and define it as a uh, empty table. So this is actually going to contain the functions that we use. So we're also going to be using this thing called meta tables, but we'll get to that later. So just type in person dot underscore underscore index equals person. Now underscore underscore index is actually a meta method that searches. So if person is set to the meta table of a certain other table, which you'll see. So it will search this one. So if in the original table, I'll actually explain this later, but if in the original table, there is no index, it can't find something. So let's just say local this table equals, and then I have something like Bob equals two. And then I set meta table this table and add person as its meta table then right here what if i try to say this table and i want to find joe how will i get this i'm going to add printed that how will it work let's just say we have a joe equals three let's run this real quick as you can see it prints three even though the even though there's no Joe in this table, because as a meta method underscore index underscore underscore index looks inside of whichever table is the meta table. So if it can't find a value in this table, it will search the meta table. The meta table must have this meta method. So we're gonna be using that in this tutorial. Now I'm just gonna clear this real quick. Now let's just add a function person, so function person dot new, and let's just put in name and age as variables. Now we're gonna have name as a number, and I mean name as a string and age as a number. So I'm gonna comment that string name. I'm gonna put string in capital. So string name number age. This will this represents the data type of these variables, so we know. Now here we're going to define local new person equals in an empty table. We're going to put new person. We're going to initialize new person's name to name, and initialize its age to age. Now right here, we also want to set meta table new person with and set person as its meta table. What this will do is allows new person to use 
methods of person. And of course we want to return new person here. So now let's make a function for person. Let's just say, define function person colon age. And because this will be a method, I have to put a semicolon here and that allows me to use the variable self. And methods are basically functions that are specific to a class. So in Lua, there's actually certain methods already built in. So let's just say workspace, workspace .base plate, and you can type in colon and you can see all these methods that are available and some are inherited from instance while others are from base part and base plate is a part so yeah now right here i'm just gonna say self dot age equals and uh, i mean plus equals one what plus equals does is it's basically the same thing as self dot age plus self dot self.age equals self.age plus one. This, basically, this is a compound operator and it just saves some space. So yeah, and we don't really have to return anything because it's just gonna directly modify it. So here, we're gonna create a new object. So we're gonna say person.new and give Bob the age of 16. And we can print, we can print, um, let's just do some concatenation here. I actually have to define this as a variable, local Bob equals this person. So we can print Bob dot name dot dot, and then that will print Bob is, and then we can also concatenate Bob's age and say Bob is blank years old. And Maybe we can have a method designated for that actually. So person dot colon, I mean person colon print age. I'll just print this. Except I'll, I'll have to change Bob here into self because it's not going to be this variable. It's going to be whatever it calls it. So in this case, let's do Bob colon print age. And then let's make Bob grow. So let's make him age. And then let's print his age again. Let's see how this works. So we run this. And it says attempt to call a number value. That's my bad. I, I named age and age the same thing. So I'll actually name this grow. And right here. Call grow. Run this. And as you can see it actually modified that. So. That's basically how OOP works. You can have these methods right here. These are methods. They're basically functions that are called and they're specific to a certain class. And our class right here, this function is actually called a constructor. I forgot to mention that, but it basically allows you to create a new object from that, which is why we define this new object right here, let it use the functions and return it. So basically, this is the end of this video. I hope you learned OOP from this. And maybe you can try out some stuff for yourself. If you, if you aren't familiar with Lua, be sure to check out my other tutorials. They explain some more basic stuff. And I know a lot of you think OOP is kind of confusing. But the more you experiment with it, the more familiar you will get with it. Just try changing some stuff. Maybe look at dev forum. And yeah, stay tuned for more Roblox tutorials.